question for you, lads. Have you ever driven Suzuka on a wheel with no force feedback? No? Well, take a bit of advice from me. Don't. Uh, more on that later. Welcome back to my team. As you can kind of tell, we've got Japan today. I haven't done this race in season two. I'm ex my expectations for this race are very, very low in terms of my performance and just the racing in general. How good it is. I don't expect it to be good racing. I expect, to be honest, I expect it to be a boring race. Because it's, but because it, it always is at Suka on this game for me anyway. But the championship, we got our fourth win of the season last time out in Singapore from 12th on the grid. We now lead the championship after just a couple races goal being 48 points down Gadsley's only two points back from us Leclerc is only one point behind Gadsley and Max Verstappen he's only 37 points behind us so he's not a million miles away from the championship he's and with five races ago we've got Japan Mexico Brazil Australia then Saudi Arabia to end us off Five races, 37 points back. He's not totally out of it. Like Pardon me. He's not completely out of the running yet. So, you, you know what? You. We we could very well be head, we could very well head to the final race of the season in Saudi Arabia with a four-way title decider. Oh, uh, but I mean that's coming later today with God Japan and uh, well it is looking very very close. Well, well, in terms of R&D Mercedes bringing in more upgrades rather. Um, a very close still, though, still, as it usually is. Um, the Mercedes engines coming in with upgrades again, except for Aston Martin. Strangely, they didn't take the upgrades. Uh, the Porsche power units also being upgraded. We're just waiting for Ferrari to upgrade to the end to bring in those final two upgrades because they're supplier upgrades, and they're not going to come in until the November. So the turbo one will come in for, I believe, Australia. Then the valve timing for um, the final race. So the final two races is when we'll get them upgrades. They're kind of bringing it in as a last gasp effort uh, to try and, to be honest, to try and help myself and Gasly in the driver's in the driver's championship. Because of course we use the Ferrari power unit. Ferrari, of course, use the Ferrari power unit, and we've got a very dry looking uh, Suzuka for this weekend. Unlike Imola IRL, which is looking rather soggy. Um, yeah, there's talk of FP1 maybe being cancelled or it might not be able to run. I don't know. Um, of course, we'll know all this by the time this goes up. I'm recording this like an hour or so before FP1 is due to happen. Um, and it's pissing it down rain, and it's a sprint weekend, so they could possibly be going into practice, into qualifying with no practice. And of course, that will mean for nine teams going into qualifying with cars they don't know, because Ferrari's the only team who don't have upgrades this weekend. I mean, come on. Uh, but anyway, 27.2 for our first lap. We're gonna go again. Straight away to try and improve because we're behind Russell, we're behind Schumacher. That's not terrible, but okay, it is kind of terrible. Um, I like I said, I don't have IOs for this weekend, but we've got a gearbox penalty as well. As Verstappen goes uh, goes quick as a 24, four, although the 24 7 was his time there, I believe, is what that said. We are majorly down. That is what, over two seconds down. We're like two and a half seconds down on Verstappen's time, I think. Yellow flags are uh, being shown, I'm not entirely sure why, as Carlos signs is out of the session. What has happened to him? We're gonna go and have a look at this, see if we can find him on the race track. There he is. He is, um, I think he's just finished, he's just finished a lap, and now he's out of the session, because he's crashed into the back of, uh, Nick Latifi, I think that is? Yeah, that is Nick Latifi. It's this Latifi out the pit lane, Signs is finishing his lap, he is out of the session. We're gonna finish our lap, though. Uh, the Yuki Tsunoda is looking a little bit racy behind us. He's also on a lap. Um, but I'm not fucking letting him by because we're in front and I'm on a lap. I'm on a lap. So why would I let him by, you know? Uh, but anyway, one more, well, three more corners to go technically. One chicane and then the final corner. Um, to be honest, I, I hate this chicane. I hate that chicane so much. To be honest, I hate this track on this game in general. I'm going to be perfectly honest. We don't improve our position, but we improve our time by six tenths of a second. Uh, Verstappen's quickest with a 24.7, as I said. We're like almost two seconds down on that. Yeah, we're like almost two seconds. We're like 1.8 seconds down on that. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what's going on with Sainz either. Um, he's not in the position he should be. He should be a lot. Sainz sh is showing. It shoots Sainz in 16th there. Um, but he's his time was only 5 tenths slower than Verstappen. So he should be way higher up the order. It doesn't matter anyway because he's freaking out with qualifying as it is. He's, he's not gonna be, you know, doing any more in qualifying, so unfortunate for him. 
Um, we're on our third run of the sash. We've gained three tens in the first sector. I'm... I, take a look at the sector. Listen, I am over a second down in the first sector. I know where a lot of that time is. The curbs. But you cannot touch the curbs in sector one. The, like, the curbs in the S-section in sector one, you cannot touch without spinning. If I even think about touching them, I will spin the car. The car will just go because the curbs on this track are fucking ice. There's a reason I'm gonna save this complaining for another day or for another video because I do want to complain about this in a video. We got 19th quickest. I'm um, still not good enough. We're gonna have to go out again. Now the Red Bull and the Mercedes still not going out again. I'm going to hazard a guess that that's. I'm gonna hazard a guess that, that one of them's gonna be Verstappen not going out again. And I'm pretty sure the other one is Perez, because that's Leclerc right there, as we're starting our second lap. Mazepin has just finished the lap, and he's going to get out of the way there on the exit of turn two. We're going to continue our way, taking a lot of carb through the th third corner and into the barrier. Are you okay? We go that's out the session, okay, out of qualifying. Please. What was I talking about with these bloody carbs? We just got a bit twitchy off the carb. And then it, we just lost it. Seen it again from the off board. Took a lot of carb through turn three. And then I just lost the car on the exit because the carbs are like fucking ice on this track. Uh, like I said, topic for another day. Topic for another day. We'll complain about that later. But Perez ends up quickest over. I thought he wasn't on track. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. There's a little acting a little bit glitchy. The TV has a five place a grid penalty for its collision with uh, science there. I see. Uh, we have a penalty. We have is not gonna is not showing here. But we do have a grid penalty for a gearbox change. Um, um, it doesn't. We'll be starting last basically. Then I mean we're freaking last. Basically last anyway. Uh, science again. Not quite sure what's happened to him. He should be up in between, he should be between Sonoda and Alonso. Good time from Sonoda, my I just mentioned. Uh, the McLarens look a lot quicker. Uh, so I don't know what's happened to Sainz, but I mean, he was going to be out anyway, because he crashed. He would have made it, he should have made it through, but he crashed. I don't know, we're going to be starting last. Let's head to the grid for, for the Japanese Grand Prix, see what's going to happen. And I had an editing fuck up again. Why did I, why did I not cut this, honestly? My editing sometimes. I, I'm good at editing, but sometimes I do just forget to cut things out sometimes. As we've seen many a time in my My Team series. But we're going to be starting last for the Japanese Grand Prix. So we're going to have to see what we can do from there. Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit. A stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese Grand Prix. A lap of this historic racetrack covers 3.6 miles, and it's the only time during the season that we race on a figure of eight racetrack. The drivers can expect some intense G-forces through the 18 corners on offer here as they experience some of the highest average apex speeds on the Formula One calendar and keep an eye out for overtakes going into the final chicane. And with me as usual is Anthony Davidson. Can I get your take on Ferrari? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Gasly, Lando Norris and Vettel, Ocon, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda and Lewis Hamilton, Eilert, Stroll, Nobuharu Matsushita and Russell, Giovinazzi, Sainz, Mick Schumacher and Jack Aitken, Lundgaard, Mazepin, Latifi and the owner driver. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. I'm not too confident on that, Jeff. Verstappen with his, let's go, is that his fourth pole in a row? He was on pole in hot. Was he? He was on pole in Singapore in Monza. I think he was on pole in Belgium and Hungary as well. I think that might be Verstappen's fifth pole in a row. You can go, but I'll check for the next episode. 
But it's Verstappen, Leclerc, Perez, Gasly, Norris, Vettel, Ocon, Alonso, Sonoda, Hamilton, the top 10. They're all on soft tyres. It's only medium tyres for Eilat, for Mazepin, for Schumacher, and for Russell. Soft tyres for everyone else, including ourselves. We're going to be going for a soft medium strategy. I'm not confident about this race. The quality of racing or my own performance, but we'll get into that once we get underway. Five lights ahead of us in Suzuka for the first time since season two. They're out and we are racing in Japan. It's actually a pretty decent start from us. As um, we're not freaking, well, we got a decent start. Gadley did a decent start. He's jumped ahead of both Red Bull cars. As in the turn one, as the AI start training, we're gonna go around the outside of a lot of them. Through turn two, trying to get a Christian Lungard, but not quite able to do so. He sneaks back ahead of us in the three Mazepin or Schuma with one of the Haas cars there. Having a little look as it's all a massive train as this might be the order for the rest of the race. We'll have to find out, but it's Max Verstappen to win nicely from pole position. Pierre Gasly jumping ahead of both Red Bulls, Leclerc and Perez. For third and fourth, Lando Norris fifth, Sebastian Vettel holding on to sixth ahead of Esteban Ocon and Fernando Alonso in the two Renault cards, seventh and eighth. Yuki Sonoda, Callum I love at the top ten. Then we've got Hamilton, Mad Street, the Stroll, Russell, Giovinazzi, Aitch, and Lungard. We're going to dive up the inside of the lot of them, make a bit of contact with Giovinazzi. I think he might have broken his front wing from that. Um, I'm sorry to Antonio if I broke his front wing. Uh, I believe I might have, but I, I have broken his front wing, so sorry to Gio on that one. But um, it was only a warning, not a penalty. Um, should I be more careful with moves like that? Yes. However... It was a massive dive bomb, so I don't care. Uh, we gained four blazes in one, but Verstappen already broken free from the threat of DRS. He's over a second ahead of Gasly now, as um, Giovinazzi is being swallowed up a bit. Sainz has got past him. And now the two Haas cars are going wheel to wheel. Mazepin and Schumacher. Mazepin now having a look at Lungard over 19th place. Pardon me, having a little look at the outside of the Williams, or the inside, he now files back in behind. This might continue down the front straight, down the main straight though. Giovinazzi's in for his wing change. Pardon me. As there is cars pulling out to the sides. Lungard is having a look at Aitken. Masman falls in behind and Schumacher and Latifi. There is Giovinazzi's wing change. And back of ourselves, so we are 1.9 seconds behind George Russell. Um, as it's just one massive train ahead of us. This is about the problem with this track. Signs of the right on our tails well, might I mention. As the DRS is being enabled. This is the problem with this track. The AI don't overtake it. I'm using a mod by Strongest Fish this, for this race. It's the um, Improved Dirt here for More Battles mod. I have that mod installed right now for this race. It ain't doing shit. Not even a mod can solve the racing on this track. Um, as we're just trying to keep signs behind for the time being. He's gonna get past us eventually. We understeer the turn seven and we spin it round. We loop it round about 540 degrees or anything. That was 9540, gonna be perfectly honest. Uh, so we're just waiting for them to go past so we don't crash. As uh, we're gonna try and get going again. The tires are gonna be absolutely, the, tire, the tires are cooked. The internal truck is temperature of the tires have skyrocketed and we lose it again as a result. The surface temperatures are flying sky high as well. Um, not ideal as we're just trying to get it back going again. This is going from bad to worse. So there, you can see the gap for sapping us on the minimap. Jesus Christ of Almighty's man. Um, not going, to be honest, it's going about as well as I thought it would go. A little bit twitchy there as we're just trying to take it easy, cool the tires and not loop it around like that. At the hairpin as it were just jove Nazi goes by. Oh, uh, this is not going well. It's just it's going about as well as I expected it would, which is not well at all. As we finally get going again, we're gonna try not lose it again. As we just let the it's gonna I'm just gonna let the rear tires just cool down a bit. This is a replay of what happened. We just understeered a turn seven, I think that is. And then we just looped it around 540 degrees. We were lucky to not get damage of any kind, and to be honest, I just kind of not got, didn't get damaged because I waited for them to go past. Because if I didn't, then they then they would have crashed into me. Because I'm not too sure where the, where the racing line is around this part of the track. I think around that point it just crosses over to like crosses over the middle of the track, and then we lost it again at the Degnas because the tires were freaking cooked. But not going well, not going well at all this race. Um, so that's basically my race run and done. I'm uh, gonna be honest. From this point in, I was still, I was the only reason why I was still driving at this point was just to show what happens with the AI, um, which I don't know if I hope that that being very much. 
because it's Suzuka and the AI do not overtake here. I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna do a video talking about this as there is just the kind of off board, I suppose, view. Off board chase can be of me losing it. Verstappen leading by 2.5 seconds apart from that, no changes. And that's the problem with this track. The AI don't overtake, but I'm gonna complain about that in another video. Because I do want to complain about this track. I do want to complain about this track in a video. And I'm gonna do that another day. As it's all just plain sailing as you were up and down the field and me just at the back. Uh, as I said, I was just drive, still driving at this point just to show what happens with the AI, but Verstappen looking very good for a win here. Uh, I mean, if he can keep this up the rest of the race and doesn't run into any issues, then to be honest, he would be gaining a lot of points and could really bring himself more into contention with this championship. He hasn't won a race yet. He's in contention for the championship yet. He hasn't won a race yet as someone is diving into the pit line. I believe it's Pierre Gasly. He's the first to blink. Um, we've got the pit stop phase, he's going for the undercut um, on Verstappen, on the Red Bulls, I don't know, he's maybe trying to pull the Red Bull into an uncomfortable position. Well, to be honest, I would say Red Bull maybe have more of an upper hand than on, Fra on Ferrari, than what Ferrari have on Red Bull, because science is way down the order and Red Bull have both of their cars up front. So really, to be honest, Red Bull have a brilliant, pl can do anything against Gasly and also Verstappen, because it's, in both cases, 2v1. Verstappen continuing on for another lap. He's extending. He wants that those fresher tires towards the end of the race. It's, what is this camera angle? I don't know. But someone is in the pit lane. It's not Sergio Perez. It is Lando Norris heading into the pit lane as well. Sebastian Vettel also in. He's running in the points. I was totally trying to score some points on the Constructors Championship side of things. I saw hard tires for Norris. Hard tires for Alonso as well. It's probably going to be hard tires for Vettel, I'd assume. And yes, it is. We have this... Um, distant shot of the pit box and out he goes again and he will be rejoining behind Pierre Gasly I would assume Hamilton's been in as well Matthew Schieter behind him a lot of people have been into the pit lane as things stand at the moment I'd assume it's not gonna be too long before these front three are gonna be coming in uh, because they're gonna need to come in at some point soon and that lap is now for Max Verstappen the race leader is into the pit lane uh, he's pulling in immediately because Mercedes in the first pit box. It's hard tires going on. Uh, Leclerc has continued on for another lap. He wants the freshest tires uh, at the end of this race. It's medium tires for Sergio Perez who is held for a second for Esteban Alcon coming in. Uh, his hard tires going on to the other McLaren. Uh, Yuki Tsunoda, uh, I think it's hard tires for Alcon as well. Um, the top, uh, so I lot Russell and Sides going long on their first stint. Can Perez be ahead of Gasly? I think he might be. For the second race running, Sergio Perez has overcut Pierre Gasly. That has not worked out for the Frenchman. Again, this is what I was talking about with Red Bull. They having an upper hand on Ferrari of having two cars up the front. And also Red Bull, they like going, they, they, Red Bull like a good medium, media, uh, soft medium strategy. So I had a feeling they were gonna do that. I assume it's gonna be medium tires for Leclerc as well. Yes, it is. Leclerc overcut, uh, Perez overcut Gasly, can Leclerc overcut Gasly as well? And can he get get out still ahead of his teammate? Cal Milo takes the lead going long, started on those medium tires I believe. Either that or he's going really long on solved. Russell and Sainz also go through, that's the top three on the road. Max Verstappen is uh, back into the net, lead of the, well, he's in the net lead of the race and Leclerc is ahead of his teammate still and ahead of Pierre Gasly. That has not worked out at all for Ferrari. In the, in the pits, he got a great start, but he's lost it from the pit stop phase of being the first to pit, and it's not worked out at all for him. Right, as we're going to pit in at the end of this lap, up, 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 Verstappen leading by five seconds now to Leclerc. Um, Verstappen's increased his gap, but Leclerc has fresher, a few laps fresher, a lap fresher tires and a compound softer. So Leclerc is going to be in a pretty decent position towards the end of this race. We're going to see how that works itself out. Um, we're into the pit lane. Yes, we are still in this race, uh, but, but there's been, we've just been driving around at the back. Nothing interesting. And as I said, the only reason why I'm still driving is to just show what happens with the AI's medium tires. As I think I might have just clipped through that box at the side there. I don't know. Um, I didn't really see if we didn't clip through it. Um, as a little bit late getting the pit limiter off. Callum Eilard goes through. He's still not been into the pit lane yet. As we're back out still in 21st place, the top three have not stopped yet. I lot Russell and Sainz all on those medium tires. And the gap between Verstappen and Leclerc has come down by a second in one lap. 
Uh, what was I saying about the tires? Leclerc's in a brilliant position. Leclerc's got a brilliant chance to win this race, but can he overtake? Because oh, see, I've seen it time and time again. The AI do not overtake on this track. And as we end off lap 13, at the top three are into the pit lane. Verstappen takes the lead of the race for real on the road again. Leclerc has closed in by another half a second or so. As I don't know what Ferrari are doing on strategy. I would have got, I would have waited a couple more laps and gone on to softs for signs, you know. They just fucked his strategy completely. And as Leclerc is closing on Verstappen, this is the main kind of battle, I would say, to watch out for in the closing stages of the race as we approach it. Um, and it's a Red Bull 2-3, Gadley still in fourth, Lando Norris is still in fifth. Esteban Ocon has actually managed to um, overcut Sebastian Vettel there. Uh, they're both on hard tires, Ocon overcut Vettel. That's worked out beautifully for the Red Bull, but not so good for our teammates. Sonoda's in eighth, ahead of Eilat and Alonso. Alonso's lost a couple places there in the pit stops, actually. Um, as lap 17, the gap has been cut in half now. 1.4 seconds the gap, 1.5 seconds between Verstappen and Leclerc. Can he get, well he's gone within a second, he's got the DRS. Can he get past the Mercedes? Because as I said, we've seen it time and again, the AI just cannot, the AI just can't, don't seem to know how to overtake on this track. Even with a mod installed, they do not know how to overtake on this track. And as you can see, we are still in the race. Um, just still at the back. Uh, but the AI just cannot seem to overtake. Uh, the meanwhile, back with us. Uh, this, this is just the show we're still in the race. Just so you know, we're getting some strange readings from a couple of the sensors. I don't think you need to be worried. It's just some bad data, so keep doing what you're doing. And I'll let you know if we notice any genuine problems. Well, cheers, Jeff. Ordinarily, for a race like this, I wouldn't mind a mechanical problem for the back anyway, but there is a possible impending battle for the lead between Verstappen and Leclerc that I want to see the conclusion of on track. So I'd rather not have a mechanical failure if it's all the same with you. But anyway, uh, well, let's um, move on. There's literally nothing happening in my race. And as I said, I had no force feedback in this race as well, which didn't help. I kind of alluded to that at the front, but I had I had force feedback for qualifying, but I did qualifying in the race at separate times. Um, so I had no force feedback on this in this race, which is not ideal for Suzuki. Leclerc is only half a second behind. Meanwhile, he's got the DRS, but he's not able to get close enough to make a move. He doesn't. He's not able to stay close enough or get close enough. Um, he's not able to be close enough to Verstappen's the rear wing to be able to make a map, make a pass into turn one. Um, as I said, I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna rant about this in another video. We've got two laps remaining, and it's freaking do or die time for the Red Bull driver to get past the Mercedes driver. Half a second line, I don't think he's gonna be close enough on this occasion as they're making the run down towards turn one, he's not close enough. So it's all gonna come down to the final lap of this race, the final lap of 27, lap 27 and 27, they move on to now, of the Suzuka International Circuit. We go on board with Leclerc into turn one, he's not quite close enough to make that move. He wasn't anywhere near close enough. And, and Max Verstappen, I think, is gonna have this one covered off. Um, he has been there, thereabouts all season, but he's never stood on the top step of the podium. But he's finally gonna stand on that top step of the podium, and I would say, properly bring himself in as in perhaps a late season championship contender, Max Verstappen wins the Japanese Grand Prix for Mercedes. His first win of the season, Charles Leclerc in second, Sergio Perez in third, makes it a Red Bull 2-3. Verstappen bring himself really into being a championship contender here. As, um, that, that's his, that's literally doing nothing. Um, as, uh, not a good race. Let's just forget this race, um, from our point of view. Race over. Let's just forget this race happened from our point of view because it was not a good one. Um, and let's just forget about this and move on to the madness that will be Mexico in the next race. That's always a good one. That's always a good race every single time. They've done it then. Here at Suzuka, a brilliant win on this beloved figure of eight circuit. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium.
Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. 80s with her first win of the season from the two Red Bull drivers in second and third. Mercedes not in contention really for the Constructors' Championship, but Verstappen is bringing himself into contention as a late season contender for the Drivers' Championship. The champion from season three is uh, trying to make a bid for a second title. And with four races to go, he's not completely out of it. Neither are we, neither is Leclerc, neither is Gasly. I'm pretty sure Leclerc has taken the lead back in the championship as well. Um, as, uh, well, the standings are going to be, they're close. It is close at the top, as you can see here. Leclerc does take the lead back in the championship. Gasly still in second. Um, five points behind. We're now fifth, we're down to third now. 15 points behind Verstappen, 27 points behind. It's not impossible. It's not impossible, but he needs more races like that. He needs to have more races like that to bring himself into contention. To be in contention for the final race of the season. You know, because we stand a chance of possibly having a four-way decider in the final race of the season. Which, which would just be insane. When was the last time F1 went to the final? That was like 2010. Well, I think it was the last time there was a four-way last race title decider. That would just be mad. But Red Bull overtakes in the constructors. They're 19 points back from Ferrari. Still leading the way. We're 31 points back from the Prancing Horse. Not over yet. It is not over yet by a long shot. There's still four races to go, which can um, bring up some madness. Okay, I'm not quite sure about Australia. I haven't done that one for a while. Uh, but M Mexico's always insane. Brazil uh, might be insane, might be boring. We'll have to wait and see. And then Saudi Arabia. It, it, Saudi Arabia, need I say more, need I say less. Um, we'll have to find out what happens. But hopefully the next race should be better for us because it's Mexico. And I do quite... I. It was a it's boring IRL most of the time, yes. However, on the game, it is one of the most exciting races on the calendar on the game. So I'm looking forward to it. But for now, I'm going to leave this one off here. So for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe to all those stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.